I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and this is Toto Santos. Oh my goodness, there's so much Three, liquor in these. Okay, at least there's some lime in this as well. <laughs> Good morning, I am on the way to Toto Santos today. We are on a road trip. Our driver has just picked us up and we are headed about an hour away from Cabo San Lucas and we are going to Todos Santos. We're going to go see maybe the Hotel California, which is supposed to be the real one and not the real one. Um, shopping, we're gonna see the little Tortuga Sanctuary where they release the Tortugas, and I don't know what else we're gonna get up to. Hey. This is Victor. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Instead of renting a car, we decided to get a private guide with Danny Boy Cabo. It's the same guys that we took a shuttle from the airport to our hotel. So on our way, let me share with you, Sharon here, I met in Morocco, and I think we met eight years ago, nine years ago in Morocco? It's been nine. It's been nine years. And then, after that, Sharon and I met Alan in Nepal, and we met Alan. It'll be four years. It'll be four years. And the three of us travel, I don't know, two or three times a year? Yep. We're always doing something. Our first stop along the way was at a blanket factory. I have to say the prices were pretty expensive, but all of the rugs and blankets were absolutely beautiful. This is definitely the place to come if you want to buy blankets. I mean, everywhere, all different kinds. So if you're coming to Toto Santos, just pull off at the blanket factory on the way off the highway. Wow, look at all this stuff. Would you like to be a member of our community for tips tricks, hacks, and travel inspiration? Well, make sure to go to the description below and sign up for our travel tribe. Back on the road, it was another 30 minutes until we hit the town of Todos Santos. Look, there's the Hotel California. We've just arrived in Todos Santos. We are going to go to Tequila Sunrise here. Vic said he makes the most famous margaritas, so when you are here, do go to Hotel California to eat go to Tequila Sunrise. He has award-winning margaritas. Now let's see if we're gonna get run over. Okay, we're not gonna get run over, but we're gonna walk over here to Hotel California, check out all the touristy stuff. So I heard yesterday that this isn't the real Hotel California. And at the Hotel California, we can get our shop on. It's fun to pick up a trinket from Hotel California, but really most of the pricing in Todos Santos is quite expensive. You might want to go back to the beach in Cabo to buy most of your stuff. So one thing, before we go to Tequila Sunrise, we have to go get some money. Um, most of the ATMs here only carry pesos, but supposedly half a block from the Hotel California, there is a place that has a window and we can get US dollars because honestly, in this area of Cabo San Lucas and the Baja Peninsula, you can buy everything you need in US dollars. Currently, the exchange rate is around 18. Um, to make it simple, you can just round it up to 20. Now we're headed to Tequila Sunrise for those famous margaritas. That's how I became known as Mr. Margarita. They all are the real thing. Neither one of these is close to that crappy stuff called margarita mix. Thank you. They all have their own personality. We are getting our margaritas described to us by the king of margaritas. Cheers, ladies. Here's to being in Toro Santos and Cabo. Oh, cheers! It's a video. Cheers. cheers! After starting with our delicious margaritas, we then dug into the food. First was guacamole, second was queso fundido with chorizo, and then the coup de gras, the chili relleno. Ordered the special, and the special is a chili relleno with shrimp in it, fresh oregano, and fresh basil. Everything's organic. It is not a fried relleno like you're used to seeing, and it is absolutely delicious. Uh oh, we're in trouble now. <laughs> one here. What about me? This one. No, you <laughs> too. This one. Same. And a third 
then after tequila yeah. and margaritas, we decided to go shopping. And the girls are buying these masks. I'm not buying a mask, but. So we just left this artisanal shop and the girls bought the mask. And me, I was too cheap and he wouldn't negotiate enough. And I love the game of negotiation. So if you're gonna play the game with me, I will always buy. If you don't play the game with me, I'm not gonna buy. So Manuel has just sent us about two blocks away from the main shopping area. He said there are some artisanal shops and one is called Echamao, so of course, handmade. So we're gonna go check it out. No matter where you are in this world, all you have to do is go about one block, maybe one and a half blocks off the beaten path away from the tourist area. You get these, just always something spectacular. Look at these flags behind me. You have this beautiful plaza here and all kind of shopping. That's half of what it was a block ago. So today we had hoped to go see the tortugas, the little turtles where they do the turtle release. It's the baby turtles that have just hatched, but unfortunately today they are not releasing them. And supposedly at this turtle sanctuary, if you go, they have the little hatched tortugas and they move them to the Pacific Ocean and just moving them from their nest out to the ocean means that they increase their success rate of living by up to 70%. Unfortunately, they are not releasing today. So I guess we're gonna have to have another margarita. After we finished our shopping and another margarita, we headed back to Cabo San Lucas. However, on the way, we had to stop at the famous Hotel San Cristobal. The Hotel San Cristobal is only about five kilometers away from the town of Todos Santos, and it's down a one mile long dirt road all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Since I'm in Austinite, I had to come to Hotel San Cristobal and check it out. The Hotel San Cristobal is part of the Bunkhouse Group based in Austin. Some of their other hotels include Santa Cecilia, the San Jose, and the Austin Motel. It consists of 32 rooms and suites located around a central pool. There's a lounge, a beautiful restaurant and bar, small retail shop, library, and Seaside Mirador. This hotel is a great place to relax and enjoy the Pacific surf, but be careful, it's not a place for swimming. The seas are way too rough. So this is Will, Will. and this is Vanessa. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Andrew. Andrew. Hi, Andrew. And these are our new friends. We just went from San Diego, San Diego, and NYC. Yeah, it was perfect stopping here oh, at the Hotel oh, San paradise. Cristobal. This is paradise. Gotta try it out. Mwah. So we're back at our hotel. We just arrived. Vic just dropped us off. It's been a great day in Toto Santos. We did lots of shopping and lots of eating and some tequila and beers. And it was fantastic. I'm so happy to be home. Time for a nap before we go out tonight. But it has been a great day. Pueblo Magico. Puebla. Oh, it's a Puebla Magica. I have trouble saying that. Hey. I believe that it is here that, of course, no, I don't know what I'm going to say. It's the same rest, uh, hotel. Wait. Since I'm a, are you laughing at me? 